call Blue Q a fun factory. We're making everything from chewing gum to recycled shopping bags, socks, hand sanitizers. The only thing they really have in common is they were all ready to get redone somehow by Blue Q and scrambled up and turned upside down and recast in some entertaining way. Based in Pittsfield, Blue Q is the brainchild of brothers Mitch and Seth Nash. A little bit retro, defiantly irreverent, conventional products packaged with an artful attitude. But it hasn't been all fun and games at Blue Q. See, their longtime headquarters, an old mill building the Nashes inherited from their grandfather, came with a very old dam. And that dam turned out to be a bit of a curse. So we ended up with a dam that we didn't want. No one, no one wants to own a dam. The building the Nash brothers moved into, a former player piano factory alongside the west branch of the Housatonic River, was perfect for their growing company, but it came saddled with that aging, obsolete dam. It's nothing we wanted to own, but no one wants to take it off your hands. Then the Nashers heard the city had plans to develop a riverside park. We thought, oh, great, we'll give it to them, but they're not dumb. It was a hard no. There wasn't even a, hey, we'll get back to you next week. It was instantaneous no. Luckily for the Nashes, the state stepped in. The removal of the Tell Electric Dam became one of the first projects by the newly formed Division of Ecological Restoration in partnership with the city of Pittsfield and the Berkshire Environmental Action Team. It's beautiful. It's so much better than when I was a kid. Jane Wynn of the Berkshire Environmental Action Team grew up here in Pittsfield. On the main stem of the Housatonic River, back in a day where it was disgustingly dirty, we held our breath when we went over river bridges. It just, it stank. Pittsfield's legacy of industrial pollution is well known, but Wynn is encouraged by the progress made over recent years I played in and on the river as a child, which if my parents had known about, they'd have been horrified. It was dirty and dangerous. And now I am thrilled because we have this really great free-flowing river. In central Massachusetts, a giant dam containing 65 billion gallons of water destined for the taps of more than three million people. No, it's not the Quabbin. We don't get the credit that we deserve. Quabbin always seems to get the big, the big press. We've teamed up with Terry and Gano at the Wachusa Dam in the town of Clinton. Clinton's a great town anyway. That's why we call it the best town by a dam site, um, because we are. Ingano's grandfather was among the Italian immigrants that came to the region to build the dam at the turn of the 20th century before there was mechanized equipment and they built this thing, which is still the largest hand-dug dam in the world today. It's about, I think, 230 feet from the ground up, and where it started down below is like 240 feet. So you're, you're looking at half of it. While much has been made of the fact that four towns were sacrificed to make way for the Quabbin Reservoir, few are aware that Clinton and West Boylston also paid dearly so that Boston, at that time, could have fresh drinking water. Everybody lost churches, schools, factories, mills. In fact, only one structure still stands in what was once a bustling West Boylston village. And that water right there was the center of West Boylston. It was the center of commerce. The old stone church, now just a symbolic shell of what once was, today maintained by the Department of Conservation and Recreation. But this landmark remains a popular spot for picnickers, weddings, and especially photographers. At good nights, there's probably a dozen or something like that out there taking pictures. We first met Jurgen Roth taking pictures of waterfalls a few years ago. He says the old stone church has become a Bay State icon, like Rockport's famous motif number one, or the Wayside Inn's famous grist mill. Those are just iconic landmarks, and I consider the old stone church on the same level as this beautiful, beautiful setting. 
Now, the Wachusa Dam um, is sort of a pipeline, part of the MWRA's pipeline from central Massachusetts to the greater Boston area. It's actually sort of a waypoint for the more famous and younger cousin, the Quabbin Reservoir. <laughs> All right, and Blue Q <laughs> has since moved out of the Tell Electric building. It has it just outgrew the space. The business is doing so well. They've moved on. Up next, a call to remove aging dams before it's too late.